Hello everyone, this is Jason Merkel with Horizon Hobby and I'm here with the EC1500 to show you guys uh, something we've gotten some questions about. Uh, what I've got installed in the airplane now is a 3 cell 3200 milliamp 30C battery, relatively common battery that a lot of people use in even smaller aircraft. Uh, and so this airplane out of the box is both 3S and 4S compatible. You don't have to change the power system, you don't have to change the props, you don't have to change the ESC, nothing has to change, or the ESCs. Uh, and so I wanted to show the difference in performance between the 3 cell and the 4 cell. Uh, and the truth is you don't need a four cell battery to enjoy this airplane. You can definitely have a lot of fun on a simple three cell battery, 3200 in particular. Uh, it does have obviously less power than the four cell, but it's plenty of power. And so you'll see that here in a minute. I do have the battery as far forward as it'll go, which is almost against the steering servo, uh, the nose gear steering servo. And uh, for some people's taste, it's probably a little on the tail heavy side, but what's nice is you can easily remove the nose cone, which goes on with magnets, and you can pop that off and stick some weight in there if you wanted to. Um, or some other guys might have a uh, 3S, 4,000 batteries, 5,000 milliamp batteries, no problem. Those will obviously fit in there and probably help the CG a bit more. Um, but I haven't added any weight here. Flying a box stock airplane, uh, everything is set up just the way it comes out of the box. Uh, and I'll show you guys again the three cell for a few minutes. Then I'll land and I'll switch to a four cell. I've got in my pocket here a uh, four cell, 3,200 milliamp Spectrum Smart battery. Uh, it's got the IC3 connector, which of course is a smart version of the EC3 connector. The airplane has an IC5 connector, uh, or sorry, an EC5 connector installed on the ESCs. Um, and so I do have a small adapter in there to go from the five to the three, and we'll show you that when I swap the batteries. But here we go, let's check it out on three cells. All right. It's getting a little dark out, but hopefully you guys can see the airplane pretty well. And so I'm actually gonna take off without flaps. I'm going to show you guys the performance on the three cell battery. And uh, again, it's, it's no slouch on power with three cells. It's really awesome on four cells, but three cells is also pretty darn good. So here we go. Again, no flaps on this takeoff. Just going to go full throttle, pull up, and you guys can see. Almost vertical, almost unlimited vertical, or it feels like almost unlimited vertical, but it does slow down and then stop. It kind of trucks a little bit, but it's starting to fall off now. But you guys can see, again, on three cells, it is no slouch. Plenty of vertical performance, still plenty of speed. It's not a super fast airplane per se, but even on three cells, it's got a, a healthy amount of speed and power to it. Plenty of power for aerobatics. You still nice tight loops. Rolling maneuvers are no problem. And again, it's a little on the tail heavy side, so inverted, I don't have to use much. All right, so I'm gonna go to the uh, half flap position and land it here. It's a little bit of a challenge uh, in these lighting conditions to kind of see the runway here and get things down smooth, but we'll try our best. And then I'll switch to the four cell, show you guys that real quick. So again, it's a tad on the tail heavy side right now, so it's kind of keeping the nose up. I can feel that, so I'm gonna go ahead and make another approach here. Actually, I'm gonna probably keep the flaps up on this landing. So CG is somewhat of a personal preference, but there's obviously such a thing as too tail heavy. Uh, it's not too tail heavy right now, but it's a little bit, again, uncomfortably tail heavy for some, some pilots. All right, here we go. Make a nice approach here. Yeah. And it's kind of nice when you do have that lighter weight battery in the front, you can kind of keep the, uh, the nose high on the landing. So I'm gonna taxi it back here. And while I'm doing that, before I switch to the four cell battery, I wanna talk about the, some guys uh, have seen some of our other videos and mentioned that the wheels are noisy. And that's a combination of factors. Basically, if you put some oil, and I haven't done that yet on this particular model, put some oil on the axles, uh, that'll help quiet things down a bit. So and bring it over here and park it. Hit throttle cut. And I'm gonna change really quick to the four cell battery. And I'm gonna show you guys the adapter that I've got in here. So again, this is the EC5 to EC3 adapter that allows me to use the uh, batteries that have the IC3 connector or an EC3 connector. So again, that was the three cell 3230C. Now I'm switching to the four cell. And in this case, I'm actually gonna put the battery a little further back than I had the uh, three cell battery. And some guys will use higher capacity batteries that are heavier and they won't end up uh, running into any trouble with CG or anything, of course, because of that. Um, I do like to have the CG a little bit further back, 
and so I do tend to put even this 4 cell 3200 a little further back so all right, so we got the uh, 4 cell 3200 installed in there. I'm not sure if you guys can see in the light there where I've got it positioned a little bit. Uh, for, uh, not all the way back uh, against the, fop, the the wall that's kind of back there in the battery compartment. Uh, a little further ahead than that. Pop the canopy on here. And then I'll show you guys the difference in performance between the 3 cell and the 4 cell. So again, on cell battery the performance is pretty darn good and then on a four cell battery the vertical is unlimited and uh that here real quick i'm gonna take off without flaps again this time just to go straight into a high power vertical climb no problem all day long unlimited vertical all right it's getting kind of dark so i won't go too high um, but for those that have seen our other videos, the four cell battery has tons and tons of power. So now I'm at full throttle, you guys can kind of see the difference in speed. It's a noticeable difference in speed between the three cell and the four cell. Obviously those props are spinning higher RPMs, you've got more thrust, you've got more speed, more pitch speed. Aerobatics are a little faster, a little sprightlier. You don't have to carry as much power through maneuvers. But that said, you can even do loops at full throttle, no problem. And uh, I can definitely tell the CG is a little better now than it was with that 3 cell 3200. Again, if you fly with the lighter weight battery, uh, be sure to mind the CG, reference the manual, find the CG point, check it. All batteries are, are a little different. Uh, some 3 cell 3200s weigh more than others. And uh, so that'll affect the CG accordingly. But uh, just make sure you don't have it too tail heavy. And of course, again, CG is, is very much personal preference, like control throws, so on and so forth. So. Uh, one of the nice things, of course, with the four cell battery is that you can perform more aggressive 3D aerobatics, including hovering. So I'm going to go into a Harrier here and bring the airplane around. So some of you guys might have already seen our other videos where we did some more 3D flying. There's a little bit of a breeze coming from behind right now. There you go. You can see it kind of doing the high alpha stuff. Bring it down in front of us here. Ah, oh, man, I love seeing these lights. Kind of flying the endless dark here. So again, with four cells, you can hover, no problem. Four cell battery. And then you can kind of punch out. And you guys can see, even with this four cell 3200, tons and tons of power. A higher capacity battery probably deliver even, even more power. Just a lot of fun. This airplane is an absolute blast, guys. And something I haven't really said is, is how easy it is to fly. This is not a hard airplane to fly, guys. If you've got a limited amount of experience, let's say you've learned to fly a trainer successfully, you've got another airplane, a second airplane under your belt, you can easily fly this. To be honest, even if you've mastered a trainer, you could probably fly this airplane. It handles a lot like a, you know, relatively mild-mannered high-wing aircraft does. It's a twin, so it's a little more complex. It does have flaps. Of course, you can use or not use those. Uh, depending on your skill level and preference. Um, of course, one of the coolest parts of this airplane is it does have a cargo bay. And I'm gonna fly by here real quick. I'm gonna put the flaps down. And I'm gonna open the cargo bay for you. So for those that haven't seen that, I'm not sure you can see it there. It's pretty dark now. But the cargo bay is awesome because you can put all kinds of things in there. Parachute men, candy. Uh, we're getting ready to do another video here as the sun goes further down where we're gonna drop some glow sticks. So I've got the, I got the door open there. Cool airplane just an absolute blast to fly again easy to fly and then also a very very capable airplane capable of all basic aerobatics and then some mild 3d aerobatics uh, hovering scale like flying a little bit of everything so all right got the flaps down bring her in for a landing here before it gets too too dark oh i'm gonna go around a little hot on that approach a little the wind shifting around a little bit here as the sun's going down. All right. Absolutely love flying this airplane though. During the daytime, in the evening with the lights, it just looks awesome. You can kind of see it lighting up the runway as it comes down, which is really cool. And some guys have also mentioned that, you know, it rolls really, really well, which, which is true. You know, it does, uh, there's not a lot of friction on those wheels, so the airplane has no problem rolling out. Now you can land it slower, a little more high alpha to kind of um, minimize and shorten the rollout. But there you guys have it, the E-Flight EC-1500. 
Again, three cell, four cell compatible out of the box. Got a cargo door, functional flaps. A little bit of everything for everyone. Thank you.